OK. So now we'll set up the Prometheus data source, but just be careful of this one because we look at the settings already. We've got 2000 active series. Now we haven't really done much yet. 2000 is quite high already. Looking at the free tier, you get 10,000 metrics in the free tier. You'll very easily go over 10,000 metrics if you don't set this up the way I do, just in this trying out phase. Okay, so into your account interface on Grafana Labs, there's the Prometheus data source settings here. So let's look at the details. Okay, so once again, my information will be different than yours. What we'll be looking at this time is the remote right endpoint. Is that one there? So we'll have our existing Prometheus service. And just a reminder of what that looks like. On the diagram, I have installed a Prometheus service, which happens to be on the same server as my Grafana server, but it can be anywhere you like. And it's querying a local node exporter. And I set up another node exporter as well that it's also querying. So that Prometheus service has its own user interface. It's a standalone system, but we've set up a Prometheus data source in Grafana that will also read that Prometheus data. Okay, so what we'll do this time, using that right URL that is just here, we'll set up Prometheus to push data to this Prometheus data source here in my Grafana cloud version. Okay, so the Prometheus service there will still exist, but while we can still read it if we want to through our Grafana server, the Prometheus service will be pushing all its data that it knows about to a Prometheus data source existing on my Grafana cloud instance. Okay, so back in here again, we need to generate a key also for this one. So generate now, I'm going to call it Prometheus Publisher, and it's a metrics publisher again. So create API key. Okay, so I can close that. Remember my keys will change once I replace them at the end of the video with something that is actually secret. And you shouldn't share your live ones either. Okay, we have a new node that we need to add to our Prometheus config, which is this remote write option here. So open up your Prometheus configuration. So I'm on my server where I have my Prometheus service installed and running. So I'm going to CD ETC Prometheus. Yes. And there it is, Prometheus YML. I'm going to edit that. So, okay. So this is the Prometheus YML as was set up in the course so far. It has three scrape configs. There's the first one being Prometheus. There's another one, job name node. And I actually set up several other targets, but I've commented them out for now. And there's a job name Grafana. Okay. So go to the end of that file and copy this remote right and put that in right click there we go and that is added with the correct url the correct username and key now for saving just so that we don't go over the metrics limit we should comment out this scrape target also the default prometheus scrape target so that you've only got one scrape target configured there we go targets localhost 9100 this is so that we don't go over the 10,000k metrics limit. You'll see that just even one node exporter will push that number very high. So anyway, Control X to save that. Yes. Enter. Now let's restart Prometheus. And check its status. Looks good. Now, going back to your main page here, this number will go up in a moment. But if we go to configuration data sources and we look at the Grafana Cloud SP code prom, okay, the information's already configured. The data sources was added automatically and it's put in the correct username key, it's called password here for us. Okay, so that is good. So test that data source is working. Let's import a dashboard for node exporters now. So dashboards browse. We'll import. Now from my documentation, this node exporter dashboard was ID 11074. So let's type that in there. 11074 and load that. Okay, node exporter for Prometheus general metrics. Select the data source being from and import. Very good. And it seems to be working so far. After more time, there'll be more to look at. It's found localhost 9100. That's my only scrape target that I have running on my Prometheus server. Okay, let's look at that for the last five. Uh, we'll see some more data in a moment, but 
Anyway, you can see that's working pretty well. And going back to the dashboard there, these numbers haven't updated just yet, but do be careful of that they will update and that will probably be about 5,000 metrics already. Okay, so just to show you what I did using the diagram, I added that remote write parameter so that my existing Prometheus service or server is pushing a copy of all this data off to my Prometheus data source on my Grafana Cloud instance. So once again, you may prefer to use Grafana in this way where you have a managed Grafana Cloud account but be aware that it is quite expensive versus what I've shown in the course where I just set up it manually on the cheapest digitalization server I can get and also I prefer to do all these things manually like manage my own firewalls etc but anyway Grafana Cloud is an option for you excellent and also going back into your Grafana account page I'm looking at my SB code cloud information here you can see now that current usage is 3818 metrics for Prometheus that's my low key kilobytes an hour so you can monitor that here as well as if I just refresh that it hasn't updated yet but it will anyway that's an introduction to Grafana Cloud in case you want to do that excellent